inside Century Middle School in Thornton. So, let's do that. Michelle Pearson prepares to welcome kids back to class. So I'm just gonna pull some of my STEM stuff out because we are doing that. This year, she and teachers everywhere are forced to address a gap that lingers from COVID. It totally blew the box top off of equity. According to research from Northwest Evaluation Association, students lost between three and five years of learning during the pandemic, particularly in math and reading. Researchers say remote schooling is to blame. Pearson says right. those numbers, though, don't show who was so, hurt the most. Yeah. Let's talk about our students who didn't have Wi-Fi the hotspots that we had to deliver to our students to ensure that they could even access Wi-Fi. Back in November of 2020. It's just hard. We highlighted this problem in the small town of San Luis. This is probably the worst I've ever done in school. And it's because of the internet trouble or technical difficulties with the computer. Two years later, the problem persists. I have students in this state that I collaborate and work with and teachers that I work with that I have students that drove 30 miles to get to a Wi-Fi spot. It's not just rural communities. Pearson worries about students in low income areas and those who speak English as a second language. And in a working situation in a family that has two jobs and they're trying to survive and our students are the only ones that are learning, you know, English right now. That's a tremendous piece when school's not there for them. These are the students Pearson says benefit most from in-person instruction and a village to help them learn. We know that the best education happens together and without separation. In Thornton, Jordan Chavez, 9 News.